Hello, fire signs, and anyone guided to this because you want to know more about the fire aspects within you. We all have fire, earth, air, and water. I encourage you to listen to each of the pick a cards and pick a pile or two or three that resonate with you because fire is the passion, creativity, expansion, spiritual growth, sexuality. Earth is health, money, career, stability in the material world, and safety. Air is our mental thoughts and intelligence, making decisions, and water is all about emotions, intuitions, and feelings, and things like that. So they're all different aspects of us, and part of our spiritual journey is to become whole. And how we become whole is we look at different aspects of ourselves to find that balance. But I thought it would be fun. So pick a pile, fire signs are for the fire within you. Pile number one is kind of this um, sort of heart-shaped, like a deep red stone. Um, pile two is kind of a spotted orange stone. And pile three is kind of a bright orange with kind of cracks of cream and, and black in it. All, to me, very fiery, creative energies, you know. So we're just going to get started here. I'm going to move pile two and three over to this side and we're going to get going with pile one. If you picked pile one, this beautiful red heart, we'll put it here. Let's see what your messages are. We're going to get messages on health, mental, emotional, and spiritual, money, career, spiritual growth, love, relationships, and advice. That's what I asked when I pulled the different decks. So let's see. We have the magician. This is for health. You're all over health and well-being. And we get the Ten of Pentacles. So what I'm feeling for you for these cards when we're talking about health, and health can be your state of mind, um, your emotions coming into balance with your head and your heart. Um, you may have been dealing with some ailments or illnesses or people close to you and you've been manifesting new beginnings good health feeling good having energy being able to exercise um, eating better detoxing letting go of addictions that aren't serving you so really manifesting these beautiful new beginnings in your health and vitality taking charge feeling safe and secure in the material world in your own physical body feeling good in your own skin helping others around you transform so this is like your transformation into these brand new beginnings where it's actually manifesting this really good health, positive movement forward, um, you know, seeking a nutritionist or a doctor to get on a, um, a more heart healing diet, I hear, for someone. And just bringing everything into balance, taking care of your your spiritual part of you as well with this magician like tapping into the magic within your intuition within you you have everything it takes to heal yourself your body heals itself from the inside out maybe reaching out to a healer and then knowing and believing and trusting that you're healed that you're restored but i just see just this manifestation of this beautiful new beginning for you feeling good and i just being more active and happy. That's just happiness. Ten of Pentacles, that's happiness. That's everything. That's feeling good, having money, feeling good health-wise so you can actually enjoy the money, sharing it with others, sharing your gifts, you know, t you know, expressing the magic within, the light within. It's a very beautiful energy. And more on money and career here, I asked with these cards. So this is the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, it's almost time to pick that fruit. This is pause, reflecting what you've learned, learning the spiritual lessons, um, everything you've learned in the material world, what works, what doesn't. So everything's coming into full bloom. And look at how beautiful, look at all that fruit. So this is all your abundance, your prosperity. It's almost ready to be picked. So this is just a pause while you're reflecting. Yeah, and the pause is because look at you. You're ending things. Nines are ending. Ending the toxic thoughts. Ending the anxiety. Ending the doubts about yourself. All of these shadows, the fears, the lower vibration energies, the regrets, the resentments, um, the shame, the guilt, all of that is being transformed. You see that? You just have one thing left on your shoulder, like just letting it go into the light. And this is you finding peace within it all, learning the lessons, growing spiritually because of everything that you've been through.
in your job, in your career, with money, you know, things like that. So letting go of all the lower vibrations, the things that haven't worked out, focusing on what you do have, putting your intentions into something positive, something abundant, something beautiful, something creative. You see that? And then I asked about spiritual growth with, with um, this particular card, with this deck, the Malefic deck, the Knight of Wands. So, you know, that's your energy, like fire energy, creative energy. But this is really standing in your power and doing so with a fierce force if necessary. So it's finding the balance. Part of your spiritual growth is finding the balance. You know, sometimes when we overreact or we get we're real fiery in an argument, or a discussion, always having to have the last word, feeling like you need to defend yourself and always be on guard. It's like balancing that energy. That's part of your spiritual growth is bringing all of that energy into the light, letting go of the toxic aspects of that energy, letting it go into the light, the distortion into the light, and that's when the fruit will be ready. That's when you get your abundance and you're manifesting these new beginnings of balance and stability. Um, this is... to. To me, this is the shadow aspects, you know, but we all, we have to connect to the shadows in order to see the light. The shadows are just as much a part of us as the light. And that's what you're learning right now. That's what's happening right now is you're, you're understanding that. So you're using your shadow, that fire, that drive to push you forward in a healthy, balanced way, being receptive to the prosperity and abundance, to the love, to the growth, and those are your new beginnings. Love and relationships. We have two of pentacles. So balancing it in the material world, following the light, collaborating, come two coming together, wishing upon a star, manifesting this union, Perhaps the divine feminine in this energy is wishing upon a star, manifesting this masculine to come forward. Trust your intuition. Things are being revealed when you go within and you tap into the magic within. When you tap into your intuition, you know what's truth about your union. You can feel this person getting closer. You dream about them. You connect with them in the energetic world. You're, you, when you're looking at the stars, they're looking at the stars. They're mirroring you. They're mimicking you. They're following your light. They're very attracted to your scent. They're very attractive to the way that you look, that you take care of your physical body. You have a very nice backside, a very nice back, and a very nice chest, obviously. So it's like you taking care of yourself, feeling good in your skin, knowing that you are the high priestess, divine feminine. And if you're masculine listening, it's balancing this, you know, maybe distorted masculine energy, w balancing with the feminine energy, the divine feminine, bringing them both into the light, getting the clarity that you need, taking charge, you know, in a healthy way, in a balanced way, but trust your intuition. Things are being revealed. And also what's coming in love, trust that it's going to be fun and playful. You see how she's playing with the cat here with her playing footsies. Maybe you're going to be playing footsies under the table. I can see someone playing footsies and kind of like Oh, brushing the hand across the hand, that sensation you get when you just barely touch someone. I just feel like those kinds of things are going to be coming. Just enjoy those precious moments. Don't push it too far, too fast. Trust your intuition. Have fun with it. Flirt with life. Put yourself out there. Dress sexy. Dress in your nice suit if you're a man. You know, comb your hair. Do your hair the way that you like it. You know, if you want to show a little cleavage, show a little cleavage. Let that fun side come out and trust your guidance on this because I feel that this union or someone that you know that you already know who it is is like you're going to come together in the physical advice for you at this time we have the round and round card an unfinished symphony there's something that needs to be ended there's something that keeps going round and round round and round in your head round and round and round again round and round this partner round and round the same type of energy so there's something that needs to be let go of, needs to be brought to the light. It's part of your sevens or spiritual lessons. It's part of your lessons. It's part of how you learn. It's part of how you're going to bring and manifest all of what you want in your abundance in. 
and it's a cycle and it's something that's been going around and around and around. You know what it is. If you're listening to it, trust your intuition. You know what it is. It's a person. It's an experience. It's a mindset. And that's being cleared right now so you can end this. So you can finally. And then it also, a message is that sometimes some unions, those true divine sacred unions are never finished, okay? We never, in people that leave and they transition to the, the spiritual realm, with the magician that's what's making me feel that way there's this is a message for someone listening to this pile that they never stop living we never stop existing our soul is always existing and you always have this connection but if you keep going round and round with the same stuff in your head and you stay in this pause for too long you may miss the opportunity to pick that fruit so it's time to decide to end what needs to end so that you can move into a new cycle that's what I'm getting from that. I hope that you enjoyed these messages. Feel free to listen to another pile and any of the other pick a cards. Okay, let's move on to pile number two, fire signs, the fire within you. I'm just going to add this to the pile here. There we go. What are your messages? I did ask with each deck specific questions. So the first uh, deck is... Um, the Santa Muerta deck, and it's about health, your mental health, emotional health, spiritual health, and, you know, physical health, that type of stuff. So we have the Knight of Swords that came out, and the Knight of Pentacles. So I do feel very good about this, that your health is coming into balance, because you're balancing your head space, you're balancing your heart space, you're bringing yourself into alignment feeling good and abundant. You, you're moving on from something that was toxic. You, you're getting the clarity and truth that you need, integrating the wisdom, integrating the lessons into your form. You see that? You're taking that sort of truth, as painful as it may be, or as hard as it may be to take this truth, you're taking it. And you're integrating it within you, and you're ready to move forward. See, horses are freedom strength, stamina. You've got your abundance, so I feel you're feeling very good health-wise. Whatever this was, whatever information came in, perhaps you're taking some kind of medication that's helping your body come into balance. There's a doctor or someone of a field or you know, someone that you trust giving you what you need to bring your health into balance, and I feel it's very positive. Very positive movement forward in the material world. Feeling grounded and stable with enough money and opportunities and then you're taking better care of your health as well. So feeling good. This whatever clarity and truth that you need to speak or that's coming in is going to make you feel good. And it's very abundant to cut ties with whoever you need to cut ties with and move on. It's a good idea. For money and career, wow, look at this, you guys. So not you're, you're so I feel you're moving on from something, a health condition, feeling tired all the time, not being honest with others. And once you clear the air and then you receive this truth, um, you know, nutritional guidance, medicine, whatever it is, you're feeling very good. This is like a good abundant time. Like you've got something to offer and I feel like you're moving on. And then look at this. The wheel of fortune comes out for money and career. Yeah, you are on your path to destinies, to great fortune. Fortune at times. Luck is on your side right now for what maybe you're moving jobs. Maybe you're moving to a new town and you're moving towards your destiny. It's a ten of pentacles. This is ultimate family life, having it all. Good health, lots of money, lots of opportunities, traveling, enjoying your family, enjoying your lover, you know, a fruit, you know, that's ripe and ready to be picked. I mean, this is gorgeous, gorgeous energy. So really abundant. You're moving towards abundance in the material world. By taking better care of your health and eating better and exercising and drinking more water, you manifest faster. So you're, you're understanding that. That's the clarity and truth. Like if I take better care of myself, if I bring my physical body into the best place of alignment that I possibly can, um, that's going to get my wheel turning because I feel good. I have energy. I'm clear in thought. So clear in thought. And so you can make, you're making the wise decisions to get this wheel turning and move on, move forward towards your destiny. Spiritual growth, if you pick this pile, um, part of your spiritual journey is learning to connect to your emotions, to healing the past, healing the pain, no longer being chained to the past, letting go, finally releasing Focusing on love again, trusting your emotions and your feelings because of your guidance system. They're leading the way. 
You came here to embark on a very emotional experience in this world. Learning how to connect to your emotions and not be shut off. Learning to balance the head and the heart. That's where you find your stability in the material world. That's wh where you find better health. I, I feel like I said that right at the beginning. This is just spirit's way of saying, yes, the key here is balance your thoughts with your emotions, your heart space, and then take the ins divinely inspired action and move forward towards your destiny because that's what you're doing. And in love and relationships, look at what you're moving towards. We've got the king of wands and the nine of wands. So really nurturing, loving, intimate times deep conversation, someone that will always be by your side, that has the strength and stamina. I talked about that with the horse's strength and stamina. Again, the nine of wands, that's a strong card. Like I can make it through anything. You're almost to the end. You're ending cycles that need to end. You're getting the clarity you need to get this wheel turning in, in another direction. You're moving towards your legacy, your destiny, king and queen coming together, sacred divine union, spiritual growth. Nine's a spiritual number and wands is a spiritual energy. To, so two spiritual people coming together to go embark on this journey or this is you reuniting or remembering that yes all I have to do is open up to this person their words soothe me you know and my my I'm always with you I believe in you I'm always going to be here for you no matter what good times not so great times shadows light i'm here i want it all i want to hear it all i want to experience it all and i want to hold you close to me i just want you to be close to me because we're stronger together than we are apart so this is what this is what you're moving towards is something that's going to last someone that's going to put in the effort just as much as you do Advice for you at this time is use your imagination. Hold your vision. Year of 2020 and we get the 20 card. No matter when you're listening to this, time is an illusion. But this is balance coming in to your relationships, to your world. Dream your world into being. Believe. This is you reaching for the stars. Connecting to the divine feminine moon energy within you. Trusting your intuition. Bringing the shadows into the light. Realizing that fear is a false reality and the truth is love. The truth is always love. You're moving towards your destiny. Follow the light. Shine your light. Have faith in your dreams. There's no place like home. Finding home within yourself. Shining your light. You're calling your divine lover home. You're calling your abundance to you. A new home could be literally moving on to a new home. But find, finding peace and balance within your, your own physical body. Going with the flow through the changes, the contrast, the challenges. Knowing that if you keep your light on, if you keep yourself aligned and you take your steps forward, open yourself up to love, balance yourself. That you're calling in your abundance. You're calling in money. You're calling in good health. You're calling in healing. You're calling in divine sacred union. Happy family life. You know, we've got the ten of pentacles here and we got home, things are changing in your home environment for the better. When you decide to heal and transform and move forward, things are changing for the better. I hope that you enjoyed these messages here. Feel free to listen to another pile if you feel guided, but I feel very positive, abundant, loving, honest, open communication, and um, life is coming for you. Okay. Sorry about all that. I feel like there's handprints all over from my lotion. <laughs> Pile number three. Let's see what messages are coming in for you. Okay. When I pulled the Santa Morita cards, I asked about health, your mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical health. So there's a rebirth happening. This is the death card. Something is, like maybe you're having a baby. Could be that you're having a baby. And this is a brand new life, a brand new world, a brand new way of being, taking good care of your health because you're pregnant. Make sure you do that. You, you, you know, consult your doctor, take the proper vitamins, drink lots of water, rest when you can, stay away from toxins. So that message for someone, but there's a rebirth happening in your health. And I feel you're rebirthing into this beautiful um, new, new way of being and operating and feeling. 
And look at that. Truth and clarity, taking charge, making good decisions about your health, cutting away what's not serving you. Um, it could be, I feel like a male grandfather, father type figure helping you with this, or this could be the doctor, um, you know, someone of authority helping you, helping you with this rebirth. This could be, you know, your actual doctor for having your baby, like knowing what's best for you, reaching out to that person that you know that can give you good advice. You're getting good advice. You're getting the clarity you need to take charge for this rebirth and cut away, let go of whatever's not serving you, detox, uh, you know, eat more fruits and vegetables, drink more water, things like that. So you're taking charge. I feel like with your health, you're taking charge and you want this rebirth, so you're willing to put in the effort to do so. Money and career. You have Queen of Wands, gorgeous, gorgeous energy there. Eight of Pentacles. And the Queen of Swords. So look at that. Money and career, I feel like you're teaming up with. Now, depending if you're a masculine or feminine, doesn't matter because I feel like the feminine is willing to put in the effort, has put a lot of effort into working on herself, purifying her life. This is the Queen of Swords, getting that clarity and truth, transforming the shadows into the light. You see how beautiful and light this card is, right? Transforming, finding the balance, feeling good on her own, taking charge, making decisions, you know, kids and families safe and protected, connecting with Mother Earth, you know, connecting to spirit through music, just very beautiful and sensual energy. So open, you know, and receptive, balanced, focusing on the creative projects, the creativity, the goddess within, putting in the effort in the material world, and then it's moving towards, to me, this when, when partners come up, mirrors come up, to, that's balance within the masculine and feminine with you, getting the clarity you need to find that balance within yourself, shadows and light. But also to me, this is divine sacred union coming together, putting in the effort. And that's part of your, your abundance is working together with this person, whether it be a lover or a divine sacred business partner on a creative project or a business, it's going to be abundant. Both parties willing to put in the effort. That was a special message for somebody to pick this group. Okay, for spiritual growth, we get the tower card. So things are changing in your world right now. That's that rebirth. Things need to fall away in order for you to enjoy this new abundant life. So the effort that you've put in thus far is worth it. Keep going. Put in the effort in yourself, in your health, in your balancing your head and your heart, your spiritual growth. Let relationships that aren't serving you, business partnerships, friendships fall away. This is the epiphany. These, this is that divinely inspired guidance to go after what you love. Go after this project, this job, this lover. So tower moments are necessary part of our spiritual growth. And they're not bad always. It's just like it gives you peace sometimes because you're like, oh, that's the clarity I needed in order to move forward. Sometimes it's not what we want to hear, but it's exactly what we needed to hear so that we could have the confidence to move forward and away from what's not serving us and move towards what, what makes us happy, the rebirth, okay? So you get the death and the tower. You know, you're going through a lot of change, or you recently has. Everything's changing, but it's changing, and it's beautiful changes here. For love and relationships, you get the star card, one of the happiest cards in the deck. Okay, there's a rebirth here, healing happening in this union, in your sacred divine union. By the divine feminine shining your light and pouring your love out, the unconditional love, the masculine feels it, the masculine's being healed by it. This is healing the masculine within yourself. Holding your vision, knowing that it's time for your wish fulfillment. That's what I feel is coming. Your wish is coming true. And look at this. The Ten of Cups. Contentment. Peace in your life, no matter what. Peace in your love life. Peace within yourself. Happiness. Joy. Wishes coming true. Dreams coming true. Manifesting in the physical. Being generous with your love, sharing your love. And the masculine being willing to do it. I'm going to provide for you. I'm going to show you how much I love you. I'm taking charge. I'm making, I'm putting in the effort here. Happiness. You're moving towards your wish fulfillment and happiness in this rebirth. Letting go of what's not serving you. Standing in your divine feminine, divine masculine power, energy, and 
knowing that it's time and being receptive to the love and the blessings and the abundance and the healing. Beautiful energy. Advice for you at this time, it's time to take a rest. It's time to take a time out. Take a nap. Meditate. Allow yourself to heal. Trust your guidance. And a deep knowing. Yes, this is when you get your the clarity that you need is when you go within and you take time for yourself and you nurture yourself. Because beauty and blessings are coming into you if you allow yourself to receive. And when we rest, it allows us our bodies to be restored, right? Brings us to, back to a sense of peace. And look at this. While you're resting, while you're meditating, you're manifesting your wishes. Look at the stars and your wishes are coming true. Everything's being worked out behind the scenes and you have a deep knowing about this. So trust your wisdom. Trust, trust your guidance. Trust the lessons, sevens or spiritual lessons that you've already learned. You know. Trust yourself on this, on this journey in love, in life, in your career, in everything, in your health. Trust yourself. You know. You're move, moving towards very positive, beautiful new beginnings. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and you take a look at uh, some of the other aspects of your chart. Many blessings to you.